Hello everyone. Good morning. I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to see another topic and it's from the DXAPI only. So if you go on my channel, you'll find few videos on, on DXAPI I have already created. Okay, like uh, how to create a case or how to process a case using DXAPI. Today uh, we are going to see another API from the DXAPI only like and, and it's more about the uploading file. Okay, and how we can attach the uploaded file to Pega case. Okay, so there are two scenario in this one. Um, I'll talk about that. So let's say the first scenario is that uh, attach file to already created case. So let's say today you created a case, okay, through some external channel, okay. And after some days, okay, the client is submitting the document to you. So then that channel, right, uh, which is not in Pega, okay, sending a document to you, to you means the Pega system. So then the document should be attached to that case, okay. So this is the first scenario. Okay, so in this scenario, we are going to use three API. So the first is create case and obviously create case will be executed on day one and upload file and attach uploaded file to case can be executed when the document is uploaded. Okay, so the usage of upload file is to upload the file in Pega. Okay, and it won't link with the case. It just upload into the Pega database and provide you a reference ID. Okay, that ID we can take and again call a third API attach uploaded file to a case okay then what will happen is that the upload file whatever we have uploaded to Pega okay with the reference of that ID it will get attached to the case Pega case okay and and the ID can can be used only once okay once you attach you cannot attach to the second case or third case okay using the API so this is the first scenario the second scenario is that let's say that uh, you are going to create a case using some uh, DX API right through external channel and you have both the details okay create case details as well as the document as well so instead of making a three calls there we can do it in two call only here so upload file so first we need to do upload file and once that uh, the ID is returned we can use that in the the create case okay and so basically here in create case so from the the first scenario right upload uh, sorry create case and upload file to case will combine okay in the second scenario create case and upload file in the same request so that is uh, okay that is where we will combine this. so let's go and, and I'll show you from first I'll show you in Pega that what all API we are going to use and then I'll show you from the postman okay and also show you in the Pega that document is getting attached so let's see that so we'll navigate to pega so here we are going to use three api and this is from the dx api v1 okay and and some like here it's a showing v1 but if you if you are checking the latest version so you might see this as a traditional api okay so the first api is that upload okay so this what it will do it will upload a file to pega database so this is the first api the second api which we're going to use is this one attach url and uploaded file to case basically whatever uh, the value will get it from the first api will pass into the second it will attach to the case so that's the second and here the case id you can see that okay the it will go as a resource parameter okay so here you need to put your case id uh, for whatever the case you want to attach so that's the dynamic value it will go in the url okay and then create case this this api we will be using to create a case okay so this is the three api which we are going to create and obviously you can form the url uh, so you'll if you'll get the url base url till v1 from your service uh, from your any uh, like you can go to v1 uh, in, in service package and open any service rule you'll get that uh, base endpoint url or i'll show you as well okay so let's see that okay let's see both the scenarios so first i'll what i'll be doing okay i'll be showing the first scenario where i'll be creating a case and then later on okay when the file is arriving i'll upload the file and attach it so to create a case if you're a very beginner okay and if you don't know where you can get the endpoint url and then what is the basic json so you can open your case type go to the setting tab and here you can go to integration so you'll find somewhere integrations here and here you can generate create case microservice code so you'll get the basic json inside the content you can pass your the content which you want to supply from the outside and store it inside the py work page but here we are not going to pass anything it's just the basic so this is the which i have already copied and in the authorizations you need to pass basic user id and password so i'll show you from the postman so let's go to the postman so if you see here uh, this is the endpoint url which i was talking okay and 
so it till cases and this is the JSONs which I have copied from there and in authorizations I have selected basics and admin and rules whatever you have okay if you are if, obviously in real time projects you will be using OAuth and other things so if you want to um, learn that well that one I have already created a video on that as well so you can find on channel so let's let's send a request and see that so we can see that we got a case 2008 so let's say this case got created in pega and after a few days you received a document okay so the first thing which we need to do is that file upload api which we need to call so this is the file upload api it takes only one parameter content okay so in content i have already uploaded a, a test file okay so now i'll send this one okay so we got this is this is the id which i was talking so we got this id and this id can be used only once it cannot be used multiple times okay so it can be uploaded to only one case okay so i'll copy this id and here i have configured attach file to the case api so i'll replace this id and you can ask a question that where i can get this sample things okay this attachment one okay so this you can get it um, from again from here only the basic uh, json see here okay and inside this one let's say you if you have any additional attribute also right if you have created additional attributes that also you can send it inside data and i think that should work okay so here the basic things we are passing the type okay and then category and then a name and then the id so this id is from the previous call so now here uh, this is what i was talking that we need to pass our and the case id so here instead of 6 i will be passing 8 uh, but before making a call i will show you this case okay that this case has been already created in pega let me show you and there is no document in it so see there is no document now let's go and hit this url okay or the service so it's a showing 201 okay so that means success now i'll refresh okay and we can see that that one document got attached see one document got attached now if i try right to execute that same it won't attach anymore okay so let me try again okay it won't attach anymore because that id reference is gone okay because that like it was individually okay i mean like it was not attached to the case now it got attached so we cannot use for the second time or third time so this is the the first scenario okay where we first created the case then we uploaded the file and then we are attaching okay now let's take a look the second scenario okay second scenario is where we have the file available and we want to attach the document as well in the case creations only so let's do that so for that what we'll be doing okay first we'll be uploading a document okay before making a service a uh, create a request service call we'll first upload a document and we'll get the id okay so we got the id and now i have configured that this one the third api is that create case using attachment okay so in this one if you see so here i'll update this value and if you compare right here this attachment okay so this attachment this this part and and this one attach file to the case this json is very much similar so basically what we are doing we are combining okay so this part is for the create case and this part is to attach the document okay so now if i'll hit i'll get the case id 009 and also my document will get attached to the pega case so let's try that so we got a 009 case and let's see that if our document is there in that see our document is also there and we can like obviously we can view that document so this is this is how we can we can do that okay if you i mean basically this is how we can use the the pega api uh, uh, for uploading the file okay maybe when your consumer is consuming they can face few issues okay uh, but that is not from the pega side external team right whoever is calling like how to upload the file because this this has this this uh, should come as a multi part in the request okay so we are not talking about that okay we just talked about the pega one right how the file upload can be done and how it can be attached with the case okay uh, like during during case creations or if you already have created a case so this is what i wanted to share okay a quick video on, on this so you please try okay for your learning purpose or if you're going to use it in real time projects okay and let me know if you need any help i can definitely help you with this topic
and also if you're liking my content please do subscribe because one thing i have noticed is that still more than 50 percent of my viewer okay have not subscribed to the channel so they are coming viewing the video okay but they're not subscribing so that that you can do it okay so that's it thank you thank you very much have a good day bye